Hey everyone, my name is Justin from justicegood.com and in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to create a pop-out photo with some perspective in Photoshop. This is a classic Photoshop photo manipulation and it's super easy to do. So let's jump into Photoshop. You're going to want to use a photo of some type of angled surface or ground. So I'm going to use these wood panels here and it's clear that they have some sort of perspective. A top down photo wouldn't really work well because there's no perspective. Next you're going to want another photo that's along a similar lines of angle just so it also works well in their perspective. So We've got our two photos and I'll link you guys to the photos I used below and on your ground photo the first thing we're going to do is create a little square piece of paper template for us to insert our photo into. So I'm going to grab my rectangle tool so my rectangle tool here and I'll lay out a square of roughly the size that I want my photo to be. Now we got to add some perspective because this can't just be a flat square. So I'll grab my move tool, I'll place it a bit, and then I'll press command T to open up the free transform menu. Now in this menu there's a few shortcuts I can use to switch between scaling and skewing and other types of perspective warping. So if I hold command I can pull one anchor in or out. But if I hold command and option Photoshop will pull the angles and if I hold shift Photoshop will pull the top angles. So I'm going to hold shift, pull these top angles in and then pull these top angles out a bit to get it to be more flat like the surface here. Now I'll also hold alt and grab this center line here and move it over a bit and the bottom line as well. So now you can see the perspective lines kind of match up and if you're not so good with the shortcuts you could always just go to edit transform and just do them one at a time like skew here you could just do skew one at a time so tweak them as much as you need till it looks like your square is laying flat along the surface next we're going to go to edit transform warp now here you just want to add a little bit of curling up on the sides so i'm going to grab the corners a bit and i'm going to curl them up you don't want to go too overboard as soon as it stops looking like it's actually on the surface then you know you might have gone a little bit too far. Now I'm going to right click and select blending options and then I'm going to add a drop shadow. So in the drop shadow you could play around with it to fit in your photo but really just a tiny bit of drop shadow on the default settings is fine. You can adjust the angle to match more of the light source in your photo and play around with the size and spread as needed. But really pretty much these default settings with a little bit of tweaking is fine for me. Next you also want to add a stroke so select the stroke and you want to make it a size of just about 10 to 15 pixels just so you could see the border and then you want to change the color of this stroke to white. Now you might not be able to see it anymore because the shape was white but it's there. Next we're going to drag in our photo so I'll go to my picture of this lamb here. I'll drag it in and it's much too big so first things first we're going to scale it down to size. So command T to open up our free transform menu and remember you could always go to edit free transform and I'm just going to find the corner here hold shift and alt to drag it in proportion from both sides and scale it until it matches my needed size and I think that's about good so press enter. Now we're going to create a clipping mask so this goes within that frame. So press Option Command G or you could go to Layer Create Clipping Mask and Photoshop will lock your photo into place within the original photo. Now we want to make the rest of the sheep or lamb pop up. So I'm actually going to duplicate this layer in the exact position it's in and I'm going to grab my quick selection tool and I'm just going to make a quick selection on the lamb. In my case this photo is pretty easy to work with so Photoshop does a great job right off the bat. If you need to create a more detailed selection you can always use one of the lasso tools or the pen tools which I have tons of tutorials on. But quick selection should work in most cases. If you need you can also click refine edge and brush in any spaces that you messed up on but remember the photo is fully visible at this point so it doesn't matter if you select too much at the bottom. 
it looks like I have a pretty good selection at the top and I'm just going to press OK and then I'm going to go to layer, layer mask, reveal selection. So this is going to make it so that everything else gets hidden except my selection and then it just visually blends in with everything underneath it and you have that pop out photo in Photoshop. Some key takeaways is this really depends on the two photos that you're blending together and whether those perspectives work well or not and then also on how well you cut things out and position things. So remember, it's all about positioning, placement, and perspective and the smallest part is the little technique that you used in Photoshop to blend it together. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, definitely leave me a like, leave me a comment on if you had any questions or comments. And definitely subscribe to my channel to stay tuned for future videos. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you next time.